All right, recording. So, hi you guys. Good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new video and we're gonna check out a video called Sun Chai, King of Muay Thai. I have not heard uh, of him and I hope I'm not butchering his name. Sun Chai. But I'm not gonna ramble. Let's get straight into this video. <laughs> All right, and let's see. Boy, heck, so yeah. A historic practitioner of Muay Thai oh. with over 300 wins and two decades of dominance. Sanchai. Sanchai. King Star. Shout out to Thailand, I've been there. I really liked it. Bangkok was my favorite place. I went to the Ketsu. It's refreshing to see new faces, new names that I'm not familiar with. This is the greatest Muay Thai fighter of his generation. Maybe one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters ever. Look at that lean back, lightning fast lean back. An almost Ooh. elastic ability to dodge attacks. You know what I mean? Like, there's something about the guy's character. Nice, he's, like, he's smooth. His, his fighting is him. He's kind of outgoing, like. <laughs> I like it. It's a weird, funky guy, and it makes I sense. I like his stuff. Like his fighting is definitely an expression of himself. So. He has the reflexes of a cat. And the speed of a mongoose. I've got goosebumps in my legs. I what? Yes. Oh. His sweeps and throws are uh, some of the most cool. effective in the sport's mm. history. See, I want to see someone like trying to rob him at night, and he just going to do all that. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Like that—that that would be like. He uh, even has his own signature <laughs> move, like, what like a Street Fighter character. Cartwheel kick. The cartwheel kick. This is Senchai's version of a Tiger uppercut or Sonic boom. We. Sonic boom. Perfect. He's having game. fun with it. You when can you tell. Level, saw him smiling. Or... There's a magic to his movement. Hits. How did Sanchai figure out how to do Muay Thai <laughs> anybody? He's basically the Pele or Sugar Ray Robinson of Muay Thai. Muay Thai or Thai boxing is a national sport in Thailand. Mm. The sport of Muay Thai has a documented history going back centuries. It's hugely popular. Also, among children, the best fighters are trained from childhood. Yeah, so much and skills. If I had a kid. I... Of skill and competition is through the roof. So much skills. Like the great warriors of the past, Sen Chai began training as a child. By eight years old, he was fighting for dollar purses in front of local crowds. Mm. Much of his early career isn't available. Lost to time. Muay Thai is a deep-rooted tradition here. The this a fought for purses? Did I hear it wrong? Warriors of the past. Sen Chai began training as a child. By eight years old, he was fighting for dollar purses in front of local crowds. Much of his early career isn't available. Mm. Lost to time. Mm. Muay Thai is a deep-rooted tradition here. The Lumpini title is considered the most prestigious title in Muay Thai. Sen Chai would capture it an astounding five times across five weight divisions. He captured his first Lumpini title in 97 at age 16. Yeah, and he can do it all. He can kick, he can box, he can clinch, he, he can do it all. He burst onto the scene in 95 and has been a fixture of the sport ever since. Even today. Beautiful left kick from Sanchai there. Mm. He's so interesting with his quick switches of the feet and like even the way he throws kicks, he's just got like a little different flavor in everything he does. I don't think he can help it. You know what I mean? There's just something about the guy's character. Yeah. Nice kick from Sanchai. Good balance. No playing now, is that? Yes. Finito. Lumpini Championship. When I had the belt, I asked myself, is this real? I became a champion. 
there is a spiritual side to the art of eight limbs. Waikru is a ritual ceremony performed by Muay Thai fighters directly before engaging in battle. Oh, wow. Hey. This looks nice and peaceful compared to what's about to happen. I can't stress this enough. You need to go to these shows live to appreciate the skills. You can't argue with the skills. You can't argue. It's like boxing combined with it's like different techniques in one. He's something special. It takes a lot of energy to move around the way he does. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he still shows up to the gym every single day. Too. I'm sure. And he's like holding pads for foreigners and all that stuff. The cartwheel kick. Senchai is credited for inventing it, and he tries to use it every fight. I got so much goosebumps in my legs. This is crazy. I was in his prime. Still people up. Multiple times a month. <laughs> Have fight. Good luck. He won Fighter of the Year in both 99 and 2008. I believe it. He's mastered distance management. Such a time he keeps difference keeps encounters still. to control the action. I would say his kick is absolutely disgusting. That's a big right hand as well. Nice kick! Ooh, wee. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the rebel that now you down with him. Go! <laughs> this is different, you guys. This One of the different. most stylistic Muay Thai artists ever. Compared to like watching Muay Thai in the States <laughs> and then going there, the amount of kicks and knees that they're doing. That'd mm. be crazy difference. I'm looking at fighting like, okay, like when's the next punch gonna happen? These guys throwing kick after kick after kick for five rounds. Look what he did to that! The white boy! See, like, like I cannot imagine like, Western people, like even I'm from Sweden, like Scandinavian, coming up against him. It's, we just different. Like they, nah. After winning five Lumpini it's different titles, cultures. Sanchai so. was revered as an icon in Thailand. Can I compare the levels. Honest, David, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Commentating on a Sanchai fight. That's Sometimes I feel crazy. like they're so talented at what to do and stuff, but they're not as like popular and. Like, when I say attractive, I mean, like, the sport or the fighters because of where they're from. Like, so they, we embrace a certain part of the world more than others, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Sanchez, obviously, an absolute legend in the sport. Um, his fight against Pornson and Lumpini, wow. Sometimes it's not just the skills, it's where his you are. His next level so, skill was hey. always on full display. Always fighting with such ease and comfort. A true warrior artist. I'm saying like the culture he and how he's raised. The value of they have that there, pride. like it's different from other places in the world. It just comes natural. Depending upon where he was, he'd adjust his style to please that particular crowd. Oh, Yes, we can. He's beating at all of them. Yeah, I love this fight. Everyone's been talking about it, and everyone's came to see 
Sanchez against McCall, two of Thailand's best fighters. Sanchez already fast start with the left body kick. <laughs> wow, the balance <laughs> is just fantastic. Against one of the best fighters in the world, mm. Sanchez put on a master class. Jumping left kick into a, a different kick level compared to the other one. That is ridiculous balance. Known as a tricky fighter. Well, Sanchez old tricks there. Oh, cartwheel kick from Sanchai this early on. <laughs> Round one, lands it flush as well. Beautiful <laughs> takedown there, catching Takon's right body kick. Hey, how you doing? The cameraman doesn't even show us the round number here. Why? Yeah. Sanchai, a very tricky fighter, a lot of flash. Someone can film me in here. Why didn't the cameraman show their round number? A lot of faking. It's amazing the speed at which Sanchez can move around to Takon's back. His ability to maneuver the ring was on full display. Leaping kicks, cartwheels, knees, elbows. It was an entire arsenal brought to us I'm by saying, the you guys, GOAT, the doing it all. Sanchez. Combined. Imagine the stamina you gotta have there. Good block. Oh, big rear leg and teeth. His trickster ways are a brilliant set of skills that keep opponents off balance. They're just amazing. I'm not letting him catch a breath. With a double left of his own. Pakorn was a Lumpini champion. Senchai made him look lost. Crazy. He's fighting a champion. Big cheap from Senchai. He's like Terminator, just keep walking. Respect. Oh, yes, the world world. Sensational rounds of Muay Thai boxing. I get chills. And the red corner, Sanchai, PK, Sanchai, The win sent Sanchai notice to the Muay Thai world. Sanchai's reign was far from over. Mm, I don't want to be remembered as a legend necessarily, just as someone who expressed the real Muay Thai. Uh, an ambassador of Muay Thai. Senchai Indeed. is an ambassador Indeed. of all Muay Thai represents. A calm, controlled art that's been honed over centuries in one of the most beautiful places on earth, Thailand. You should definitely visit Thailand one day if you get a chance. Senchai I has a definitely want to go back there. Opponents who are considerably large I wouldn't want to live in Bangkok for a a certain amount of time. Than himself. Really He's developed nice. a reputation as a giant slayer. Against foreign fighters. Wait, That's what I'm saying. The foreign really fighters, I got no chance. <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm saying. Come on. Different level. Sun Chai fought men who towered over him. Sun Chai, obviously, very, very tricky. Great balance. Look at the size. The comparison. Forward, you know, hard shot. Look what he's doing to him. This is what I'm saying. Even in the elite die ranks, Sen Chai was consistently giving up two to three pounds to his opponents. Here we go. The cartwheel kick is highly difficult to execute. <laughs> and yet Sen Chai does so consistently. He seamlessly switches between distance and uses incredible feints to lure opponents into mistakes. It's an exciting style that keeps opponents off balance. Nah, what a the nice vicious <laughs> elbow. <laughs> Foreigners got no chance against this. You see how they're taught from an early stage and no chance. Sanchai just does so many tricks and feints and everything, doesn't he? His balance is just amazing, Davey. Yes. This is their their scene. You can come and visit, but that's this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> In the first round, Thailand, Sanchai, PK, Sanchai, Muay Thai, you! Here, Sanchai launches into his signature move. You're gonna learn today! 
This is how we do it. <laughs> then comes right back with a head kick. Against another significantly larger man, San Chai took him apart. They just keep coming, like, and he's just showing them. Yeah, I was done. Is just, <laughs> his skill is just unmatched. Here, he feigns a kick, then slips around behind his opponent. He's a man! <laughs> he's a way to do that to me! <laughs> oh wow! They do this like good gestures of sports match. Like nice one. Not much feeling out here. During. Um, I never seen it. Oh, Nay. Next. Next up. This is the tale of most of Sanchai's fights. A one-sided drumming. A thorough domination, which usually ends in a spectacular knockout. Against Sean Clancy, another larger man, it was more of the same. Come on, Sean. He bends without breaking. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're embarrassing. Sheesh. With so many tricks in his bag, Sanchai is impossible to anticipate. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his. Look at him, you guys. You will run down before me! Nice. Nice. He's unreadable, like. An excellent counter punch ends the bout in an instant. Those counter hits that he's doing. Finito. Why do I keep going? Let's see that again. <sighs> no. No. Bow. Bow. He lost. Whoa. Wow. I feel like like people it, it's an honor for them to get knocked out by him. <laughs> like they're just like they're A just... brutal elbow landed right on target. Ay 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 ay. Vicious first round knockout. That's where you want to show the numbers. He was on that guy's ground, probably, so it was embarrassing. To this probably. question mark kick from Sanchai. It's it just a thing of beauty. Did a little shuffle. The remix. He often frustrates his opponents with his flamboyant defense. Senchai has never lost in Thai fight. Really? A perfect 61 and 0. I mean, I'm not surprised, but wow, it's still. Still. Strikes so quick, it is virtually unblockable. Smell that? 
One of my favorite kind ay, of ay, 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 ay. the delayed knockout. When the opponent takes a few moments to realize that they've been knocked out already. Finito. Finito. I wanted to end with one of my favorite Sanchai moments. Mm -hmm. His opponent, Gabriel Dos Santos, got a little pushy pre-fight. Uh -huh. Sanchai laughed it off. However, as the match began, Sanchai's foot got caught in the ropes. When this occurs, Dos Santos attempts to strike, which is considered extremely dirty in the sport. The ref steps in to allow Sanchai to free his leg, but Sanchai is not happy about it. What ensued was Sanchai imposing his will on Oh, wow. Dos you don't want to make him mad. He's been smiling throughout. I don't want to know how what he does when he's mad. Him. Sheesh. He broke out every trick in the book to make sure Dos Santos forever remembered the night he dared cheap shot the Muay Thai goat. Uh, he did that to himself. Like, the team it. Like, ooh, he tried it, missed it. Because then Shai was smiling and, you know, doing his thing, being respectable by knocking them up. But this time, should not make you mad. Disrespect and play dirty. Beat him fairly. Couldn't do that. Sanchai is considered by many to be the greatest mm. practitioner of Muay Thai in the sport's history. An exciting style mixed with tremendous showmanship. Oh. A fluidity that keeps foes off balance as he seamlessly moves between styles. For two decades, he's reigned atop the sport. Hmm. Dazzling spectators and inspiring the next generation of great warriors. Sen Chai, King Star, Goat of Muay Thai. Hmm. Nobody brings it home like Joe. And he's not just, no. uh, you know, fighting. Like he making it look, he putting on like a show. That's what I love. It's not like my favorite sport is football, soccer as Americans call it, but it's not just scoring, scoring, scoring. Like it, it's like how you do it. He doing it beautifully and entertaining people and showing that it's more to the sport than just getting the job done. Like different techniques, skills. Yeah, you can create your own, and he did, and I mean, he's the best at it, so it says a lot. Very interesting. First, I'm hearing about him, Sang Shai, King of Muay Thai. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you heard about him, if you know about him. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all of this stuff, and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Appreciate you watching. Bye. Oh.